So in this video, we'll be discussing the importance of NADPH. So NADPH stands for nicotinamide adenosine dinucleotide phosphate. It's a reducing equivalent, which reduces the substrate on which it is acting upon and it in turn gets oxidized. So there are many biological reactions in the living system which need NADPH. So coming to the various functions of NADPH, first, as I mentioned in the previous video while discussing HMP shunt, NADPH is essential for biosynthesis of various fatty acids as well as steroids. So it is essential for biosynthesis of various fatty acids as well as steroids. And also this NADPH is essential for biosynthesis of amino acids involving the enzyme glutamate dehydrogenase. And also NADPH has an essential role in antioxidant reactions. So within the biological system there is formation of hydrogen peroxide and which is deemed to be very harmful to various living cells. So this hydrogen peroxide is reduced to water by glutathione reductase. So reduced glutathione is essential for uh, reducing or converting hydrogen peroxide to water. And this is possible because the glutathione is being maintained in reduced state by NADPH. Right. So the essential role of NADPH in antioxidant reactions is maintaining glutathione in its reduced state. Let's look at the reaction. There is hydrogen peroxide which gets converted to water in presence of glutathione which is in reduced state. Right? So in the process it gets oxidized and this oxidized glutathione is again reduced with the help of NADPH. Right? So this NADPH maintains glutathione in reduced state right so that's the essential role of NADPH in various antioxidant reactions and coming to various detoxification reactions so usually detoxification of drugs or biotransformation of drugs usually occurs in microsomal cytochrome p450 enzyme present within liver so during the process of detoxification, there are various hydroxylation reactions happening and these hydroxylation reactions involve NADPH as well. And also, NADPH has a role in phagocytosis, right? And most importantly, these reducing equivalents NADPH maintain the integrity of RBC. So this is possible because the integrity of RBC membrane is again maintained by glutathione in reduced state. So this glutathione is being maintained in reduced state by NADPH and also the iron present within the hemoglobin is maintained in ferrous state by glutathione reduced state and prevents accumulation of Hefe plus 3 that is methemoglobin right so these are some of the important functions of NADPH within the biological system and to summarize NADPH stands for nicotinamide adenosine dinucleotide phosphate it is essential for biosynthesis of fatty acids steroids as well as amino acids involving the enzyme glutamate dehydrogenase it's also involved in several antioxidant reactions for example as you can see here conversion of hydrogen peroxide to water by glutathione in reduced state so the role of NADPH is to maintain glutathione in reduced state and this is the reason why it's able to maintain the integrity of RBC as well and also it plays a crucial role in hydroxylation reactions seen during detoxification process within the liver and also has a role in phagocytosis and coming to its role in red blood cells it maintains the integrity of RBC membrane by maintaining glutathione in reduced state and also maintains iron in reduced state and prevents methemoglobinemia right so these are some of the important functions of NADPH within the biological systems right hope it's clear thank you